Hey guys and welcome back to my channel. Today we need to deep clean this house. I have over 18 loads of laundry I need to fold and we cannot waste any more time. If you're new here, my name is Lauren Nicholson. I love to share all kinds of homemaking motivation here on my channel and today we're gonna be cleaning the house. This took me about six hours to get all of this done which seems like a really long time but I actually condensed it down into 48 minutes so you can turn this video on, clean your house like we're friends doing it together and it just makes the time pass a little bit faster. All right, guys, let's get cleaning. So before I get started on cleaning, I wanted to share a couple tips that help me stay focused. I get very sidetracked when I'm cleaning the house, especially with six bedrooms and all the things I need to do. So I thought I would share my checklist with you guys. The first thing I do is make a list of each room and the things I want to accomplish in them. So like for my bedroom, vacuum, mop, wipe down surfaces, change sheets, whatever it may be, um, bathroom, you know, bleach everything, organize mop, uh, restock towels, um, whatever I need to do, those are the things I focus on in those rooms. Before I get started, I always make sure I have all the supplies I need ready to go, usually in a caddy. That way I don't get sidetracked looking for things, get ducked into other projects and or get discouraged to finish what I've started. The next thing I like to do is take inventory of things while I'm cleaning that need to be restocked. So I always keep my phone note section open for those items. So whatever it is, I can grab it. The other thing that really helps declutter as you go. So you don't have to come back and do that later. And the last thing I highly recommend keeping a note section in your phone for projects you need to do later. When I was cleaning in here, I did not write down that I needed to clean out both of our side tables here, um, but it was not on my list, but I did write it down on my projects list of just one little thing I need to go. It's got everything from kids' toys to books, magazines, things I don't even need. So it was a project I wanted to do and I literally put it on my project list and did not tackle it today. That way I could get done everything I had. I will put up on the screen a little list of things that I really wanted to get done today. So give you a little backstory. We have four kids if you're new here and typically I have help in the house three days a week just with cleaning and keeping up on things like laundry, changing all the sheets. We've got five beds in this house, um, you know, cleaning the couches, things like that. Just larger projects that need to be stayed, um, you know, kind of at the forefront of cleaning that I don't get to that usually we have help. But because it's summer, Everyone's traveling, and for the last two weeks, I've been solo in the house, kind of trying to keep things together. We also were traveling with the kids um, for 4th of July, and when I got back, I literally had 18 loads of laundry that needed to get done. The pile was so high, I was like, I am going to tackle this, and I'm going to get motivated with you guys because I did not want to do this by myself. So we're going to go through all of these different tasks I need to get done. I don't know about you, but for me, just starting the day by making my bed always just makes the day kind of feel a little bit cleaner. I also love to think of my future self while I'm doing anything. So whether it's setting up my clothes for the next day to go work out, making my bed for later that night and laying my jammies out, little things we can do now while we're in the routine to actually make our future self a little less stressed and kind of accomplish a little bit more in the day always helps me stay super productive and obviously reduce stress. So here is a list of everything we're gonna to tackle today on my Sunday routine. The first things I kinda of wanted to tackle was to make my bed. We're going to be doing some mopping. I'm going to be cleaning the kitchen. We're gonna be doing all kinds of different things today. So I thought I would put up here on the screen all the things we're going to be crossing off this list as we go through things. The one in the middle, make lunch. Don't forget to slow down and take a good half an hour, 45 minutes to enjoy a little lunch, rest, and then get back to the work. So first thing we need to do after making the bed is tackle all of this laundry. This took me an hour to fold all of this. Each of the kids have their own basket, so I am going to just be adding their clothes into their baskets when we're finished. They can take them upstairs and put them away themselves. I've been trying my best for a while, trying to please everyone who's around me. I've been putting on my fake smile, even though I'm wasting time. I don't want to be trapped in a box, trying to be like the rest when I'm not. I just want to go my own way, kind of let the past. 
so good to get all of this laundry cleaned up. I did make a pile of clothes that no longer fit my kids that I can bag up and donate. And then I left all the things like socks and undergarments in a pile. I just thought it'd be a lot easier to kind of sift through them this way instead of trying to find the matches in that giant pile. It worked out really well. I only had like six socks out of probably a hundred that didn't match. And the last thing I wanted to do, I have two different types of towels, some that go in the kitchen and some that go in the bathroom. So I thought I would just kind of sift through those again and one big pile instead of trying to fold each one and put them in their respective piles because I have um, kind of like face washing, hand washing towels, and then all the ones for the sink. I have not had dish towels for over a week and a half because they've been sitting in this pile needing to be cleaned. So it will be really nice later in this video to actually go into the kitchen and put these away. I did realize that underneath the sink was really, really messy. So I do need to put um, a little time into reorganizing that as well. But once I'm done with this, we're gonna head into the bathroom. I also need to mop the floor in here. I wanted to do that after I did the laundry in case some like little pieces of dirt or whatnot just kind of like fell out of the laundry. I figured it'd be best to do that at the very, very end. But when I did this, I still had six other loads going and I just needed to get this pile off the floor. So I will be doing that um, the next day because it didn't all get done this particular day, but it was a pretty good dent in the laundry. I'm on my way now. So now that the laundry is done, we can cross that off our list. The next we have to do is mop the floor.
So for the floors, I'm gonna do kind of a two-part process. I went ahead and swept pretty much just like the big stuff off the floor. Since the kids typically come through this door into the bathroom when they get out of the pool, it always has lots of dirt and stuff. So I'm gonna give it a nice deep clean with the mop, and then I'm gonna actually have my Robo Rock go through the house. If you're not familiar with the Robo Rock, it's a um, vacuum, a robot that vacuums and then mops the house. It literally goes through, vacuums everything, and then it will mop everything. Thing. It does an amazing job, always leaves the floors looking gorgeous, but sometimes you need a little of that elbow grease girl just to really get the house clean. So I'm going to go ahead and just go through this uh, whole area with the actual mop. This is the Oceder mop. I love this thing. Um, really easy to use. It actually separates the dirty water from the mop from clean water, which is really nice um, and is nice and light and compact. So I'm just going to mop everything and then I will actually uh, send the Robo Rock in here to just clean like the rug and stuff like that because I still want like actually some uh, vacuuming going on. I don't love vacuuming. I did buy a vacuum, but my husband took it to work and I haven't seen it since. So I guess I'm gonna have to buy another one, but I did have a really nice Dyson, or no, it was a Shark portable one that I loved. It was so strong. Um, so I'm probably going to have to order another of those, but I do have a larger one. It's just really bulky and heavy. Tell us in the comments down below, what is your favorite type of vacuum to use? Do you have a Robo Rock or any of those um, kind of like robotic vacuum uh, mop guys? Because I just love them. Um, my favorite mop is a Shark. I had Dyson for a long time, but just never felt like it had the right kind of suction where the Shark was just always a very mighty and strong. Here is a friendly reminder to make sure that you take many breaks and drink lots of water. I love these one liter bottles of water. They're by Evian, but I always put two scoops of my candy watermelon electrolytes, which I always have linked down below because they're so delicious. It just makes regular water taste so yummy. Um, and electrolytes really help your body absorb uh, the water. So I would highly recommend checking those out, but have water with you while you are doing your cleaning. It'll help you easily get in the water that you need throughout the day. So now that we have finished our mopping, we can clean cross that off the list and it's time to start cleaning the bathroom. So in the bathroom, I'm gonna go ahead and just take everything out of this drawer. I wanna clean these little plastic bins and just get it reorganized. From here, I will be able to tell things I need to restock. We have things like toothpaste, toothbrushes, um, cotton swabs, cotton balls, all the things, floss, and I don't know what I need. So by cleaning these out, I can really take a good inventory of what needs to be cleaned and restocked. Only for a moment, only for a while Never let you down Cause now I'm waiting. 
While I was cleaning out the bathroom, I heard the laundry ding, so I knew it was time to keep rotating. I'm trying to keep this thing on a solid rotation so I can finally get finished with it. Um, as I'm doing this voiceover, I still have four loads I need to finish, you guys. I'm not feeling it. So we're going to keep that rotating, and then I'm going to head back into the bathroom. Now that I have all those bins nice and clean and organized according to what I need to put in here, I'm going to just start restocking it. Like I said earlier, from here, I am going to keep a list of things that I need to order and restock um, that I'm low on. I typically keep a little back stock of everything in my closet, but this particular time of year, we are just kind of out of everything, so I have a lot of restocking to do. Okay guys, so now that I have this clean and organized, I know exactly what I'm running low on. Um, so I'm gonna put that as part of my order for the uh, delivery. I just have some um, face scrubs and makeup remover. And then I have extra kids toothbrushes. Sometimes they like to brush their teeth down here. And then some floss. And this is my husband's side, so he's got his deodorant and then his face like a little cleaner. So I am going to put in an order. This is kind of the nice part about cleaning and organizing and restocking all at the same time is you just have to go through. Once you deep clean everything, throw away um, like dirty things or things that are empty, you'll have a clear shot of exactly what you need to reorder. But we still have lots and lots of cleaning to do. We need to put all our towels away. And I've got two more loads of laundry. Wait, one, two, three more loads of laundry finishing up now. But I want to get all this clean. We'll get this mopped. And then I'm going to go and have a little factor meal for lunch. And then we're just going to keep cleaning away. Because boy, oh boy, does this house need it. Okay guys, now that we're almost done with the sink, I just wanna wipe everything down, get things put away in the shower here. I always have um, some videos playing in the background. You'll see it's usually like cooking videos. I have house cleaning videos. Tell us in the comments down below what kind of videos 
you guys listen to when you're at home. I love doing shopping videos right now for fall and Christmas and Halloween. Um, actually, this uh, weekend, I am going to be going and getting all of our fall decorations um, here to the house from storage. I'm going to be bringing all of my spring back as well. But I know it's a little early for all of you, but to each their own, do what you want to do. I always start decorating for fall in August. Um, I do back to school apple theme. So if you guys are into that type of content, um, decorating the house and doing fun things for your kids or grandkids or nieces, nephews, friends, whatever, um, definitely hit the subscribe button so you don't miss that because I have so much great stuff coming up for fall and back to school. Um, we are going to be doing a um, back to school uh, organize with me. So definitely hit the subscribe button so you don't miss any of that. I noticed that a bunch of our towels like were a bit discolored so I think the kids have been using them while they're in the pool um, I'm not sure I have to find out but we have yellow and white pool towels that usually I stack up outside um, I'm assuming because of <laughs> I'm assuming because I haven't gotten all the laundry done this week that the kids have just been using these, but I will definitely need to bleach them and throw some vinegar on them because they are a little bit discolored. Um, I love this ladder. I got it from Amazon. I'll link it down below. I've had it for a long time, but I like to just stack all of our towels on here. I always love the bathroom to feel like a nice peaceful place. It's where I begin and end every single day before I go to bed. And I like to keep just really nice neutral tones in here. I also love just having everything available and ready. Again, and I feel like when you restock, keep things organized, everything has a place in your house, you will find that like if you need batteries and they're always in the same place, um, it will just help reduce stress and frustration. Um, I know that that's rather hard if you are like me and you have uh, three, four, five, six kids um, and you know, you've constantly got kids, you know, grabbing things, putting things places like scissors are a thing in our house because they're always doing crafts um, and I can never seem to find the scissors that belong in the kitchen. They always seem to be upstairs in the craft room, which is fine, but I always try to keep things um, in a certain place. That way it keeps life very simple. So in here, I realized that I haven't cleaned this mirror. Every time I take a picture of my outfit of the day, I say, oh my God, I have to clean this mirror. So today we're getting to that. And when I'm done here, we need to start mopping because this bathroom is so dirty. This again is where all the kids come into right after they get out of the pool. So I need to get the floor nice and clean, get all this garbage out. I cannot believe how much has piled up in the last week, especially not having help. I mean, not that I don't appreciate all the help that we get in our household, but it's moments like this that I realize what an absolute village it takes to manage a large household, especially when you work full-time. Again, if you're new here, I work full-time. I have a pretty demanding job. So 
I don't have the flexibility to be in here cleaning, organizing, restocking. Um, I typically only do those things on Saturdays and Sundays. Um, also kind of feels like I'm always working, whether it's in the house or at work. I just feel like I'm always going and never really taking a whole lot of downtime. I'm trying to fix that. I'm trying to make more time for myself. But these days, especially in summer, it feels like it's impossible to actually take a little time for myself. Tell us in the comments down below, how do you manage a little bit of time for yourself in the summer when you have a large family? A new place, a new home. For a while, let me feel alive Nothing to hold me back Take my time, just enjoy the ride I know man, passing by Life is good, best I've ever felt Get me up, so in it is officially cleaned we have cleaned out the drawers restocked the towels cleaned the shower so we can knock that right off the list the last thing i need to do is mop this hallway and then we are going to head into the kitchen and make a nice healthy lunch i'm going to be having a factor meal today i found my way i found my way i was in the dark against it all but made it through the day because i found my way i found my way Times. I know I'll be okay Cause I'll find my way talked about factor meals quite a bit on my channel, but I love them. I order 10 a week, five for myself, five for my husband, and I get the protein plus. It just gives me a great meal in the middle of the day. Otherwise, I end up grabbing things that are junk. They're very high in protein, high in fat and calories, um, which are all good things that I am using as I'm going through a major transformation with my workout and what I'm eating and all those things I'll be sharing later in the month of July with you guys. If you're new here, I'm turning 40 in August and I'm trying to get a jump start on a healthier routine as I find that as I'm aging, my body is slowing down, my metabolism slowing down, and I can't just get away with the regular eat whatever I want and not work out and not put on weight. It just isn't um, going that direction for me right now. I've been putting on quite a bit of weight actually. So some of the things I have done is I've um, added a trainer with the Trainwell app into my routine. I am on a very good high protein diet. I'm working out, drinking lots of water, and just trying to stay conscientious about my overall health. So again, I will be sharing that with you guys later. So if you're um, in your 40s and looking to um, kind of help yourself stay a little bit more conscientious about your health, definitely hit the subscribe button. So the kids wanted a little lunch. One of my kids already ate, so I wanted to make him just a little bit of toast and some fruit as like a midday snack. Um, he ate a little bit earlier than the other kids and then the other kids wanted some grilled cheese so we're just going to make that for them real quick i feel like for our kids i usually will feed everybody at the same time unless one one of them slept through breakfast so it wasn't hungry so i just try to do that all at the same time but this particular day I had to make two meals, not a big deal. So otherwise I make everything, put everything out and let all the kids eat, put their dishes away. 
Unfortunately today, because the dishes were overflowing out of the sink, I was not able to have them do their dishes, but we're gonna tackle that together. Since the kids didn't finish all of their fruit, I thought I would just throw it in this little dish and go take a little break and feed the boom booms. We can knock make lunch off the list. We will come back and start the dishes and cleaning the kitchen, but let's take a little break and go say hi to the chickens. They love watermelon and grapes and all kinds of things. Um, I actually got Blanca to come out. She was in such a brood mood and so was buttercream. <laughs> I was surprised they even came in and ate but I thought I'd give Salty some um, watermelon. It's her favorite and she's just hanging out over here. It's nice and cool. It was 110 degrees this day and again our air conditioner is still broken. Um, the motor went out so we are going to have to get that replaced. I don't know when it's going to show up. Um, today it was down 20 degrees as I'm doing this voiceover and I was just like gosh to have the whole week so hot when we didn't have the AC and now the unit's gonna get put back in. It's just like, ugh, it was such an awful week to have to be cleaning and just doing stuff with the kids. And um, our pool also, our son put um, soap in it, I guess, one of the days. I'm not quite sure when it happened, but anyway, uh, we now will most likely have to drain the pool and put all new water in it, which is an absolute bummer. So now that we're done with that, it's time to head into the kitchen and get things cleaned up. I decided to take half of my 4th of July decorations down as I'm going to be bringing in fall. I just wanna make more room. I also don't want to have to take multiple trips to the storage unit where I have all that stuff. And I thought it'd just be easy to kind of declutter as that's part of our tips for cleaning. Live your life within the moment, moment And don't go wait until the morning, morning You never know when it is over, over All that I know is we'll get older, older So let us dance this night away We get lost in the crowd, it's getting thicker We get away, get away from the drinks and chatter Haven't said a word, but it doesn't matter Feel the air get thinner Standing in a blurry dream No one else can see us Live your life within the moment That's the side of way We've got the dishes done. I had to hand wash quite a few of our dishes like our pots and pans and our wooden spoons and my Nakano knives. But since those are done, we can take the do dishes off the list and we are pretty much finished cleaning the kitchen. I'm gonna put a couple things away. We'll go ahead and strike that from the list. The last thing I need to do in here is organize underneath the sink because it is a mess. And again, I do need to restock in there. So we will be doing that together. To settle down Day nights and late nights Don't get around But there's something about you Something about you I like About you I like You're crazy for saying I should slow down 
and almost left town But there's something about you Something about you I like About you I like I get too drunk and too scared and lie to you If only you knew I would die for you One of us, one of us gotta say The last thing we need to do in here is restock and clean out this area underneath the sink. I will tell you, I always like to keep a couple extra things that I use to clean the kitchen. So uh, any type of sprays, I love Mrs. Meyers, bleach, um, sponges, all that type of stuff. We're gonna keep all of that down here, but I do see that we have some restocking things that need to go into the garage. If they aren't in these little bins, they really shouldn't be down here, otherwise it gets super cluttery. So we are going to clean all this and get it restocked and ready to go. Um, I also had a list of things I needed to put for my shift order um, that I didn't have down here that we'll restock later. Get too drunk and too scared and lie to you If only you knew I would die for you One of us, one of us gotta say the obvious Nobody loves me better, yeah I get too Shadows way too long. You always thought that you were weak, but babe, you're wrong. Yeah, you better step into the light, just give it a try. Think that it's time you let that spark out. You've been hiding in the shadows way too long. Now that we're finished restocking everything, I can put all of those dish towels and kind of cleaning rags away underneath the sink and we can cross off, organize under the sink and continue on with just kind of tidying up around the kitchen. I do want to take you through a walkthrough, show you how everything turned out. The Robo Rock is out there doing her thing cleaning so I can be finished pretty soon here and I'll show you throughout the house. Okay guys, I am officially done cleaning. I started at 11 and it is now 3.30. I did take a little lunch break. Um, I am going to mop the floors, but I'm not going to film that just because I, <laughs> I want to get it done. And um, I got two loads of dishes done, plus I hand washed these ones. And finally got the sink clean. We went ahead and cleaned this out. We officially have rags we have not had for a week. I have not had time to do the laundry. Everything is nice and sparkly clean here. I have these up for the Robo Rock, which is doing its job. Um, Robo Rock is just now doing this room, which is good because we've got coffee and just junk everywhere. So that is good. Um, always looking very clean. I don't know if you can tell how clean the floor looks, but it looks great. Bathroom is clean. I believe the Robo Rock's done in here. It smells like it is. So, um, and plus we already mopped in here, but I'm going to put those back down. I feel like it knows where I'm going and it's always following me. And then in here I have laundry done. I'm going to close these drapes because the sun is just now coming over the house and it's getting very hot here. Um, so I have this load, 
I have one, two, three more. I have two more loads coming out. Then we're going to fold these, get them put in here. The kids will grab these and put their stuff away. Um, and I'll put my stuff away. It's a beautiful day. It's the last of a really hot week. I'm not going to lie. I'm a little bitter about how hot it's been in this house. I feel like every single appliance in this house since we bought it has broken and been replaced and broken again. Um... But that's what you get. So, anywho, I'm gonna end this video here. I hope I gave you guys some cleaning motivation. Oh, I forgot to do that. Okay, tomorrow we're gonna tackle this. Okay, guys. Let's go.